Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with an assembly video for one of our die sets. This is die number 1112, The Office Charms, and you can check out all of our die designs at KarenBerniston.com. A really great feature of our charm sets is that you can cut everything at once using your scraps. And what I did first is just choose the color that I want for the upper part of my scissors. I decided for a green pair of scissors, so I cut those first out of green, but then I'm also going to cut them out of silver. You can use any die cutting machine that can accommodate a wafer thin die. Today I'm using my Spellbinders Platinum 6. Okay, so after die cutting, I'm going to choose three of the dies that I think really benefit from using the optional emboss feature. On a Spellbinders Platinum 6, that means I take the bottom plate off of the platform and put the dies directly on the platform, paper side up. And then for the top of the sandwich, it's the tan squishy mat that comes with the machine and then the purple hard plate, and that also comes with the machine. You may need to check online for whatever the sandwich is for embossing a wafer thin die if you're using a different machine. Now, as I pull those pieces out and show you how they look embossed, I'm also going to point out that I've changed my camera angle. So now my hands are going to be crafting on the same side of the table as you would be. If you're familiar with my other videos, you know that normally I am crafting from above the frame. So I'm basically always doing things backwards. And I think this will help that your hands can be in the same position as mine, especially when we're doing pop-ups. At a recent retreat, one of the students, Joanne, reminded me of her great tip of putting a damp paper towel in the bottom of a jar and then keeping the fine tip bottles needle side down in the paper towel. It does keep them from getting clogged up. They actually stay nice and open while you're crafting. You'll find the fine tip bottles plus my favorite glue, Lineco Neutral pH Adhesive, on our website. There are nine dies in the set that combine to make five different charms. And if the binder clip and push pin look familiar, that's because they are bigger versions of the ones that come in our photo collage die set. So they're not going to duplicate if you have both sets, but people do love those accessories. So we decided to release a little bit larger version as a charm. Okay, to assemble, it's gonna be exactly like the other ones, the smaller ones, if you're familiar with them. The adhesive goes on the back of the long arms. And then you put the binder clip itself with the little divots or towards the bottom. And you just line up the ends of those long arms down at the bottom where those divots are. And what that should do is have just a little bit of the short arms overlapping the clip itself. So on the, the fronts of those short arms, you can add a little bit of glue because the idea here is to kick those little short arms to the back of the clip and attach them there. And thank goodness for dries clear glue because I am really being messy here, but you get the idea. You can snip that hole off of the top if you want to just use this as an element. The push pin also has two dies to make that two-tone assembly really easy. I like to cut the full push pin out of silver and then the upper part out of whatever color push pin I want. Now a quick stick can be really helpful for assembling our charms and our animals. I use it so often that we now actually sell those on our website as well. Once again, you do have the option to remove the hole at the top if you want to use it as a standalone element. For the heart-shaped paper clip, once again, I like to cut the full clip out of silver and then the upper heart out of whatever color I like. I'm just picking it up with my quick stick and that's going to leave a little shadow of silver all the way around. That's why I like glue because then I can kind of slide it around and make sure that I get good centering. On the scissors, I cut it twice, once out of the color for the handles and then once out of full silver once again. And then what I like to do is just cut the handles off a little bit above the seam. So they're actually in two pieces. Then just like with the other ones, I'll add the glue where it needs to go, pick those up with my quick stick and assemble. The final charm is the pencil. I like to do the full pencil out of a cream color and then just use some kind of light blush pink to color in the eraser and then a black pen to add the pencil lead. I cut the overlay piece out of yellow and embossed it, but then I still like to actually use the die as a stencil as well to go in and add black lines everywhere where the stencil feature is. So that will be down the middle of the pencil as well as the three stripes across the top. This looks pretty cute the way it is, so I could be done, but if you happen to have a silver pen, it does look kind of cool to put a little silver around those three black stripes. And then the rest of the assembly is like any of the others, some glue on the big pencil and then add the overlay. And as with all the other ones, you can just trim off the hole if you want to use it as an element instead of a charm. 
When you do want to hang the charms, you can use twine, you can attach them with brads, you can use our paper jump ring die that's in our charm accordion die set, or you can use metal jump rings. So with metal jump rings, what I typically do is to use two pairs of needle nose pliers to just twist the jump ring open. Then once I get it through the hole of the charm, I just use the same pliers to twist it closed again. Twisting is definitely better than when you widen out the jump ring to open it because then you have to try and squish it closed. So twisting is better than squishing. Okay, so that is the assembly and let's look at a couple cards. Fran Sabad used the office charms on this charm accordion in a school theme. Here's Helen Cryer also using the charm accordion die set to show off the office charms and hers is a thank you theme. Lois Bach used our circle charm pop-up die set for the office charms on this congratulatory card. The office charms will be available on our website as well as a lot of your favorite local and online retailers starting mid-November 2019. Thanks for watching. If you click on the website link, you'll go to karenberniston.com where you can find out information about purchasing these dies as well as links to all my other social media accounts. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.